All right, guys, we're back with round two Edison format at Eclipse Games. We got Sal on the left playing with his usual Shigaraki mat. Uh, he's playing Weladad, and we have John Vigil on the right playing Diva Hero Beat. So this was a four-round tournament. Yeah, this is not my main local, so yeah, four-round tournament, single elimination. So you guys, I, I lost round one, so I have no shot at getting first. I prefer my main local because we get, we you know, we do top cut and... Yeah, I hate these one base single elimination tournaments. Because sometimes you just get unlucky one game and then you have no chance to win. Anyway, let's get back to the duel. So, Sal opens Stratos. And how many is going to set? Three. Hmm. I don't think Sal is going to bluff because <laughs> he knows, especially he's on camera. Oh, it's a little bit of a glare here. So, John activates upstart. He knows that I'm going to call him out if he sets heavy. <laughs> and, and gets, I mean, if he sets three and doesn't have anything to stop heavy. My guess is in Weladad, maybe he's playing Starlight Road, or he has Solemn Judgment down there. All right, John opens Diva. I know John loves playing Double Gilman, so I'm pretty sure he's playing Double Gilman. I've messed around with one Gilman, and I don't know. I, I even tried like two Diva, one Gilman. Okay, so he's going to go for Android most likely. A lot of times they go for Android just to make Honest live. Ooh, Regeki break. Pitch Mally. Nice. I'm pretty sure he's playing well at that. Unless he's playing Diva Hero, which I doubt. He could be. And now John mirrors back, setting three. Oh, no, he's playing well at that. Okay, I was worried for a second. He's got the telekinetic power well in his hand. Okay. Oh, heavy? Oh, he's got the Solemn. He's got the Solemn. Chain MST. That's got to be Solemn. Or Starlight. He had to. There's no way he sets heavy unless he has, like, Solemn or something. This is a, this is a really good... Yeah, it was Solemn. I like this move that Sal just did. Sets three. Gives John false hope. That was, that was a really good move. All right, so now... He brings out the Mali. So Normal's Plague, and he's going to make an 8. Which 8 will he make here? You're playing as Diva Hero Beat. Yeah, Starter's heard some st st Spark. The only thing you're scared of is Gores. Let's see, does he, does he have the Gore? I know John plays it, which... Gores is okay. Oh, man, these upstarts with the glare. Okay, and John sets, I think he set Honest. Ooh, and MST is his, his dead mirror force. <laughs> Crabons and John scoops. So quick game one by Sal. That heavy was a blowout. And then game two, John's going first. Set two summon Gilman. <laughs> this is why I was only playing one Gilman because I hate drawing it. I was joking with one of my friends, Josh Jordan. I told him I would that he should play three Gilman, <laughs> so his diva's never dead. <laughs> okay, so South Special Cyber Dragon tax him for four hundred. Oh my god, you had nothing to stop the Cyber Dragon. What are your back rows, man? All right, so Sal, what what, what would he set in this deck? I guess, I don't know. I don't really know this Weladad deck too much. The few times I've seen them play, like, the builds are a little bit different. All right, so John's thinking. Okay, so, yeah, I, I hate doing this play. I always have to do this play, too. So he has to Miracle with an alias to get zero up. Compulse. Not bad, but you wipe his... Oh, it's a Sangan, Okay. So it's not the worst. At least you get a Sangan. And he gets Armageddon Knight. And John's got, what, four cards? I think he's got my body. John loves loves my body. He's always telling me to main deck it. In, like, every deck. Oh, no, here comes Sal back with the cringe shuffle. Those of you guys. <laughs> yeah, if you ever wonder who Sal is, he's the guy who does the cringe shuffle. It's, there's two Sal's, but this is Sal number one. Okay, he rugs the Armageddon. And then here comes Alias. Tax him for 19. Oh, see, John. He's scared. He's 
He's he didn't want to set two. You see, you could tell. He see if I was playing Jada, he did that against me. Like hesitated on set, setting the second background. Be like, yep, you have nothing. I'm gonna heavy you. But the other day he did get me like that. He and I played the other day. It wasn't on camera, but I thought for sure, cer certain he didn't have Starlight Road. And he actually kept it in in the mirror match, and I was so mad. All right, anyway, let's get back to the duel. So Sal's at 53 to John 76. He dusted the compose. <sighs> I would like this deck more of like teleport was at two. Maybe then I'd like this deck. He attacks, and I'm pretty sure he negates, so I have him 45 to 76. So he's just getting rid of those back rows, yeah? But John's got, like, two cards in hand, a face down, and he crows the plague right away. I think he's playing around dark-armed. I think he loses to dark arm, so that's why. It's not, it's not a bad move. Maybe John's, like, feels that Sal is trying to get the dark arm on the field. That's why he keep he kept like dusting his back rows and stuff. So here he goes for Goyo, and then he solemns the Goyo. One, two. Saying I think he's got like four darks. So he attacks over Alias. So now he's got Cyber Dragon in one back row. So how does John get out of this? Now, Sal is up on cards. I attacks him for 21. Oh, the Gores. Ooh, that might put him back in the game. Teleport. Does he make Black Rose? Okay, so he has the Black Rose, but th this is not bad. Now, now Sal's got one card to John's two. But John did go first, so they're kind of just back to square one, basically. And Sal did not do the cringe shuffle. He saved us. He saved our eyes <laughs> from doing that cringe shuffle. <laughs> oh, what a top deck. So yeah, here comes the second Gilman. See, if this was me, I would have I would have to get a diva because I only play one Gilman. Which some people have criticized me for in the past a lot. Okay, so bottomless. Miracle! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is not I think Sal's. Now Sal's in trouble. He's got a top deck like a deep prison or something. He's going to take 25 to the face. Now he's a 2,000. Sal sets. So he's checking to see what's gone. So it depends on what you draw. If you go for game or not. He's a 2K. It really depends. E-call. One bottom is gone. Torrential. Ooh, that's that's risky. But I think he's going to go for it. Because there's one Torrential, so my guess is that he's going to go for it. Yeah, so he's checking the grave. So the only thing you really lose to here is Torrential. And Sal Scoops. It was Mirror Force. So, yeah, he would have got Mirror Forced. All right, in game three, looks like Sal's going first. He opens Stratos, grabs Mally. Okay, I think Sal stopped doing the shuffle. <laughs> okay, Sal sets one and passes. So who's gonna move on for, for this single elimination local? Come on, John. What's taking so long, man? You play heroes. This is like the easiest deck to play. He's thinking a lot, man. His hand must be bad. I don't think he... Because if he has like strat... Okay, he sets, but... What monster would he set? Did he side in Snowman against Welladad? Did he set Honest, a Gilman? I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see. So we know Sal's got Malicious in hand. Normal Greffer. Will Dark Arm make an appearance? Pitch Mally. What are you going to send? Plague? Most likely Plague. Unless you have like the telekinetic power wall and you're trying to do a play like 
a play there. Oh, he set Ocean. Okay, so he must... John, maybe he's got a few miracles in hand, and he deprisoned the Stratos. Huh. Maybe you're better off deprisoning the... The Greffer? I don't know John's hand, but what if you can't deal with Greffer? Oh, it looks like, yeah. See, this is the the weakness of heroes. If you look at John's hand, I'm just going to bring it up. I don't know who it was, but there was like two people in the comments who roasted me about Upstart Goblin and heroes. John does play it, but I just tell this is just one of the weaknesses of heroes if you decide to play it. Look at John's hand. He's got a dead spark, a dead hero blast, and a dead miracle. And I draw like that all the time. That's why I'm kind of losing interest in that deck. It just, it just happens quite often. Even you, And that's why I max out on upstarts and e-calls. I play three e-calls, Rhoda, and upstart. And some people go even further and add the... What's the trap card called? Legacy of Yada Garasu because they, the deck is just so bricky. Anyway, so it looks like, yeah, Sal's just going off. John's hand is dead. The only card that's live is the heavy and whatever that back row is. If it's another hero blast, I wouldn't be surprised. But I don't think it is. Because, I mean, look, John's not... He didn't stop anything. He, he doesn't have a bottomless. He doesn't have a mirror forge. He doesn't have a torrential. What could his other back row possibly be? It could be like a pulling the rug. Okay, heavy. I, now I want to see what that back row is. Oh, so yeah, see, I said... What I say? A dead hero blast. I, when I play this deck, I side out one all the time. So, yeah, John, I think. So, he so that's what he drew. So, now he's got Spark, Miracle, Hero Blast. So, his whole hand is dead. If he doesn't draw a hero, he's cooked. I think he drew another spell. Oh, he drew another Spark. <laughs> I think I think it looks like he's got double spark. Oh yeah. Oh no, he drew alias. Never mind. He top decked alias. What a rip. <laughs> and then Mirror Force chain spark. Now, okay, so now John might be able to fight back. Cuz he's got miracle. But the see this is another problem. If he miracles his hero blast and sparks dead, so he has to he has to rely on the on the hero blast. Yeah, that I think that's just the right. Oh no no no! I would not have done this because you just made your other two cards dead. Let's see if he's gonna get punished for this. Greffer, brain, and that's game. See, he did get punished. If he would have just set the Hero Blast, he would have summoned Greffer, Hero Blast, Alias, half Spark, and it would have been a completely different situation. So, yeah, John got punished there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel, and we'll be back for round three. Would, would John have won the game? Mm, maybe. I'm not sure. But we'll see you guys. Bye.